Hello Matrix and welcome again. Today we are doing a question on 3D Trig from the 2018 NSC paper. Question seven, uh, in the previous two papers and the question and the paper after that 2019, question seven was uh, a 3D Trig. So we know that every year around question seven, we're gonna get a 3D uh, Trig question, which is great. So we know what to expect and we can prepare for it. So with the 3D trig, we need to look at our sine rule, cos rule, area rule, and our basic trig ratios. And we should be able to answer the question. So if you aren't familiar with those, then check out uh, my other video where I explain the non-right angled triangle ratios, uh, rules. Okay, so here we're looking at a pilot that's flying above the ground and it notices a point uh, C and a point B, and it's all in the question and in the diagram. So um, there's a height above the ground at point D, which is H, and so there's an angle of depression here of 30 degrees. So these paragraphs usually just explain what's happening in the image below. All you need to do is just make sure that everything that is in the paragraph is in the diagram. So for example, they might not put the right angles, but they'll tell you that something is, a, say, a, parallel, a parallelogram. And so you would need to know then that the angles are, um, opposite angles are equal and that the sides are parallel. Okay, so let's jump to the question. They want uh, the distance AB in terms of H. So that's here, that's this side here. Well, we see that AB is in a right angle. And we see that the angle of uh, depression is 30, which means the angle of elevation here is going to be 30 degrees. Okay, so 7.1 um, They want a B in terms of H, so that's fine. It's in a right angle triangle. We've got H and we know that that ABD we said was 30. So we need to say that to get a mark. So ABD is equal to 30 degrees. And we're looking at AB, which is the hypotenuse, and H, which is opposite. So we use O and H, which is sine, some old hippie, called another hippie tripping on acid is one of the ways you can remember that, or Sokotoa. Sine 30 equals opposite H over BD, uh, sorry, AB. And so we know that AB is equal to, if it jumps to the right, it goes to the top. And so it's H over sine 30, right? And we just need to know our special angles. We need to put this in to get the, make sure we get a mark. Um, so that's H. Um, and we're looking at 30, so it's opposite. And this is the adjacent angle here. So opposite will be, and you can, if you're not sure, you can check in your calculator, but this is going to be root three. Okay, so O over H is a half. Okay, which, so sine 30 is a half. H over a half, which is the same as saying H divided by a half is the same as timesing by two. So AB is equal to two H. Right, um, show that the distance between the strange, strange object at point B that we're talking about in the paragraph and the control point C is BC equals that long thing there. Okay, so what they do is they want they want BC. Uh, let's put that a bit bigger. So they want BC. Okay, and we can see here there's an X that's in terms of X. So we can use this angle here. Right, so with the these distances, um, what you need to know is that 
because it's a four mark question, what do I need to use to find this distance? Well, I've got the two X and I've got this side here, AB. And I've got this as three H over here. So I know that this is three H. Okay. Uh, let's just get that nice and straight. Uh, 3H. Okay. So I just want to, if you already know how to use your cos rule, then just skip ahead a little bit. But for those who don't, I just want to explain this a little bit. Um, when you have an angle flanked by two sides, so we'll call this angle A, okay? And then this is A here, and this is gonna be B and C. Uh, we use the rule A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two BC cos of A. And so we have all those things in pink and we need to get this A here. The A is the thing that we don't have. So that's what we need, right? So I'm gonna put that in green and that's what we have to get. So even though these questions can be quite complicated, use the highlighters and get, get yourself some erasable highlighters preferably because then you can, if you've written, if you've highlighted too much, you can erase it so that it doesn't look like a, a complete mess. Um, so I've got AB, I've got AC, I've got the angle, and so I can simply substitute into this rule here. So let's do that. Um, we want BC. Seven. 7.1, so we, that's the, we're working with a triangle in pink, so I'm going to, you wouldn't write your exam in pink, but um, just so that we keep track of everything, we've got BC squared equals, that's the A, um, AB squared plus AC squared, because those are the two side ones, minus AB, AC, and the more you practice this, the quicker you'll become cos A. This is a two here. Cos A, which is A in the diagram. And now we can fill in the values. So we were asked to get A, B in terms of H in the first question. So that is also often a clue. Well, it's always a clue in these questions, I find, is that what you had to get in the previous question, you'll end up using. Um, so we've got a 2h squared plus a, plus a 3h squared minus 2, 2h times 3h cos of 2x. Okay, so here we've got a 4h squared plus a 9h squared minus a 2 times 3 is 6 times 12 is, uh, sorry, is 12h squared cos 2x. Now we get to here and we're going to get 13 h squared minus 12 h squared cos h, cos 2 x. Okay, so then we look at the question we've done, we followed what we would normally do because we had the flanking angles. And then we get to a situation where if I was to square root this, I can see that I'm very close because if I, if I take an h squared out as a common factor and square root it, I would get the h on the outside. But I've got a cos squared x instead of a, a cos 2x. So then what I do is if I look at cos 2x, this is a double angle formula, a double angle. So I need to get the double angle formula. So I go to my formula sheet and I find out the values of 
cos x, uh, cos 2x, and see what options um, I have. So I go to the back of the um, uh, sheet. So what I usually do is I take the formula sheet and I take it or I unstaple it and I keep it on the side so that I don't have to keep uh, paging back to it. So then I'll have it right next to me and I'll look at the options for cos 2a, right? And there's, there's three. There's one that contains both cos and sine. There's one that contains um, sine only and one that contains cos only. So what I do is I look at my answer and I see that I've only got cos. So it makes sense that I'm just going to use the rule that says cos. So I'm going to put that cos rule in. And so cos, I'm gonna write this on the side so that you can see it. Um, let's do it in uh, yellow. So we know that cos 2a or cos, in this case, 2x is equal to 2 cos 2x minus 1. And I'm going to substitute that in. So this is going to become 2 cos squared x minus 1. This cos 2 i oh, underline that. Okay, and that should get me very close to the answer, if not the exact answer. Well, it has to be the exact answer. So the great thing with this is that you already know the answer. You just got to get there. Okay, so 13h squared and then 12h squared times times uh, 2 cos squared x is going to be minus 24 cos. Oh, I don't have enough space. Let me just. Okay, so it's equal to, let's do it a bit, 13 h squared minus 12 times 2, which is, okay, let's just do this. Okay, uh, 24 h squared cos squared x plus 12 h squared, okay. And it's looking like I'm going to get the right answer here. Should be, I think it should be a five more questions, quite a bit of work. Um, you don't like doing that much work for so few marks. 25 h squared minus 24 h squared cos squared x. Now I take out the h squared and I'm left with 20. 25 minus cos squared x and this is all bc squared and finally and i'm just going to leave that equals and we can see once we square root the bc the h squared becomes h and then we get root 25 minus 24 cos squared x. That's our final answer. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, and uh, if it does, uh, then please uh, like and subscribe because I'm going to be uploading um, a lot more of these memos and tips. And uh, so coming up to matric exams, hopefully you can come here if you're struggling and you will get some help. Um, so there will be full memos, playlists on uh, the 2019, 2018, and 2017 papers. And if you keep liking and subscribing, um, then I will keep uh, posting videos. So yeah, all the best, and I will see you next time.